Let's explore a possible model that explains the cause of Parkinson's disease. This is the brain. The cause of the Parkinson's disease begins in the midbrain. Let's examine the cross section of the midbrain. Let's focus on the shaded region, which is called the substantia nigra. Indeed, there are special cells which produce dopamine, represented by the blue circles. Dopamine regulates the signals that control the muscle contractions. In a healthy person, the dopamine will be released and cause the neuron to initiate regulated contraction of muscles. In a person with Parkinson's disease, there will be death of these special cells, so there will be less dopamine. There will be less control over the contraction of the muscle, leading to too much involuntary contraction, causing rigidity in the person. At the first stage of Parkinson's disease, the patient experiences mild symptoms that include inconvenience, including of tremors. At the second stage of Parkinson's disease, the patient encounters problems walking or maintaining balance and is unable to complete simple physical tasks. In the third stage of Parkinson's disease, the patient faces inability to walk straight or stand. Noticeable slowing of physical movements can be observed as well. In the fourth stage of Parkinson's disease, the patient faces inability to complete day-to-day -day tasks and usually cannot live on their own. The tremors may, however, lessen or become non-existent for unknown reasons. At the fifth stage of Parkinson's disease, the patient is unable to take care of himself or herself and may not be able to stand or walk. He requires constant one-on-one -on -one nursing care. <laughs> um, if both your parents have Parkinson's disease, do you think that you have a high risk of developing Parkinson's disease? Yes, I think so. Can an impact on the head in an accident lead to Parkinson's disease? Uh, I think it will be able to affect them. Yeah. Doctor, how can I tell if my father has Parkinson's disease? Firstly, I can do a neurological examination. First, I will need the, his medical history. Then, I will have to ask you about how he is acting at home. After that, I will need to observe him. I will give him some command words like to sit, stand and walk. Next, I can also give him a PET scan. A PET scan is reliable as it can detect low levels of dopamine in the brain. However, it is very, very expensive. Doctor, then what can I do to help my father if he really has Parkinson's disease? Well, I can also, there is no cure for Parkinson's disease, but then there are ways to relieve the symptoms. Firstly, I can, at least, I can give him l dopa which is a chemical that can go into the brain and be converted into dopamine. This will relieve the symptom of Parkinson's disease, which is caused by the lack of dopamine. And also, I can give him a brief, deep brain stimulation. I'll put a pulse generator inside his body, surgically. And this has been done every 3 to 5 years. This, this device will produce electrical signals to inactivate parts of the brain that causes Parkinson's disease. That's all. Just do it, just do it. Oh crap, I'm doing shit.